One of the keys to growing quality grain sorghum is choosing quality seed. Here at the Southwest Research Center in Altus, they're doing studies to do just that. Terry Pitts here is an IPM specialist at the Research Center. And Terry, tell me the basis of these studies. These studies are um, in order to grow uh, good quality grain sorghum as well as use quality seed. And in uh, the process, uh, you need to put down a herbicide in order to not have competition with uh, your growing. And from that standpoint, um, you put on a, safe, a siphoner on the seed as a seed treatment in order to siphon it against the herbicide you put down that would control the weeds. In this case, we have a new siphoner that will come on the market in a few years, maybe one year, that uh, is going to be a new uh, type of siphoner compared to what's been in the market for the last 20, 25 years. Okay, show us some examples of what we got here. You say this one here is one of the untreated ones? In this um, first four rows here, what we have is the unsiphoned seed. Okay. And as you can see, the uh, stands are real skippy. And we planted these with the same number of seed as you'll see in, in a minute. And basically, we have very few plants in this plot. And what happened was is we simulated rainfall soon after planting. And that herbicide was driven into the seed and the seedling. And uh, those seedlings or seed couldn't withstand that herbicide. Whereas on the other hand, in the, the next plots that we'll go to, it had the seed safener on it and you see a very good stand in those locations. Besides the stand, um, are the heads on the sorghum going to be any different with the untreated? Well, due to the fact that we have very few plants in these rows, uh, what plants did survive have a big head on them. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas in uh, normal planting, like we'll see in a minute, uh, you have smaller heads, but a lot more of them, and so the yield is going to be two or three times what it is right. in the unsafened plots. Right, makes sense. All right, let's go check out the uh, safener ones then. In these next four rows, we have uh, safened seed, and you, as you look down the rows, you can see that uh, there's a consistent stand with each row. Mm -hmm. And um, from that uh, standpoint, you see a consistent emergence of the heads. Uh, every plant has a good head compared to just a few plants with a large head, uh, we have uh, a very uniform uh, stand and uniform heads and uniform maturity. And from that standpoint, it's important as you start to uh, mature this plant and ready for harvest, you want all these to mature at the same time. Mm -hmm. That way you're not delaying harvest because you have uh, variable age heads in there. So that, that's a, another benefit of having a safe. It's really apparent too. I mean, when you look at this and look at that over there, I mean, there's a big difference. It certainly is. And uh, of course, growers in their own fields can uh, really realize the difference whenever you're harvesting uh, large acreages. Mm -hmm. uh, this compared to that makes a big difference on yield. How old is the safener in that you used on this? I mean, how many years is it? Well, this is out? the new one. Oh, this and, is the new one. And this, okay. one, this one hasn't been released yet. If we go to these next four sure. rows, um, the siphoner that was uh, used on these next four rows is, um, uh, it's been in the market for 20, 25 years. And it does an excellent job. As you can see, we have a real good stand in these four rows. Mm -hmm. We have a little less uh, head emergence and maturity in these four rows. Why do you so, think that is? Uh, there's probably a little delay effect uh, from the siphoner as well as uh, maybe some of the seed treatment compared to these other four rows that have the new siphoner on it. All right, in your personal opinion, um, is one better than the other? Is the newer one you think better than this one that's been out for 25 years? They both work very well. Okay. Um, the new one looks as though that it's very safe on the seed and that's a key component of anything you put on sorghum seed. Mm -hmm. uh, grain sorghum seed is very sensitive to any uh, amendments that you put on the seed so that if it's a, a weak seed and you put seed treatment on there, a lot of times it won't germinate. So uh, whenever we look at both of these safeners, they're safe on the seed, they good, do a good job of safening against herbicide, and they both will be very useful in the market. Is there a name for this new safener? Has that not been released it yet? It hasn't been released yet. Okay. And um, what do producers need to look for then? If they're going out to buy their seed, um, is there a certain label they should be looking for, or how do they know? Well, in, in uh, past history, you just ask for safe and seed. Okay. And that's always just been one safener. I think in the near future, you'll have the choice of the new safener or uh, the old safener. Right. And uh, that'll be a distinguishing thing. They'll probably both have individual names that you could ask for specifically. Okay, so the key is look for quality seed with safener on it. Quality seed with safener on it and apply your herbicides and you'll have a good crop. All right, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.